good morning to everybody. A lot can and does change in just a couple days. I'm in California. Back to shorts and t-shirt weather here. Slept at this rest stop. Jackson and I are going to get back on the road. We were just trying to get down here so I didn't film for two days. It's like seven hours of driving both days. Didn't even touch the camera. Didn't even stop to enjoy anything. And so today I'm making a change. We're not going to drive very far. But we are going to explore. And I am going to film and share it with you guys. And I will talk with you more about why I'm back in California and what some of the future plans might be uh, towards the end of the video. But for right now, let's have a good day. It's okay. You know when you're just walking down the street and you see a plane sticking out of the side of the building? Just screaming, Eric, Quirky, come check this out. Yeah, I think we will. You know, because there's also a car sticking out of the side of the building here. <laughs> this is actually pretty darn stinking cool. Somebody has put a lot of work into the outside of their house here. You can just walk right on the sidewalk here and look. They're playing Rebel Without a Cause. James Dean? Yeah. Man. peek in here. Wow. It's like an old 50s diner in here. Coke. Look at all the Coke stuff. Wow. Wait a minute. There's more. It's another car on the roof. I don't see any signs like it's a museum. I don't know what it is. They got some old newspapers here. Daily Democrat. Okay. Wow. Um, it does say on his garage here. Woodland Greatest Tourist Attraction. So apparently I've hit Woodland's Greatest Tourist Attraction, but it's not open. Can't do anything else. Still, definitely worth a stop. Pretty fun. Do you want to keep enjoying life, Jax? Does that sound pretty good? Does, is, that, is that a pretty good plan? Just just enjoy life, yeah? Mm -hmm. Dad, that's what I do. It's what I do, Dad. I just chill. I just chill. You're the boss, man. I'm here in Davis, California. And in case you haven't figured out, one of my sub-themes to this channel is uh, larger than life or quirky stuff. You know, like just driving down the road and randomly finding dominoes in the grass. Huge domino sets. I, I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's fantastic that uh, I don't see any graffiti on this art right here. Or maybe there has been, they just covered up with the same paint. Not sure, but uh, in front of the dominoes, I did find this little plaque for you. It says Eddie Martinez Hood Domino Effect 2, 1994. Cool. I'm waiting in line to drop off my mail. <laughs> I'm sending out some uh, sticker packages to some of you guys who ordered stickers. And uh, I really appreciate the support of the channel, guys. I'll put a link below in the video description in case you guys want to order some new stickers or some new areas or something. What the heck is this? Toad's Hollow? Right behind the post office box here is Toad's Hollow. I don't get it. Little houses and stuff, and I guess this is Mr. Toad, and he probably lives down there and crosses the street into the water. I'm not really sure, but okay, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, ordering stickers and helping to uh, support the channel. Um, one of the main things the sticker sales goes to is providing unlimited internet on the road so that I can continue to upload and not have to waste a whole day sitting at a Starbucks. So every sticker you purchase uh, from my website uh, goes right back into this channel, 100%. So, uh, all right, still here in Davis, getting kind of hungry though. So I don't know if this area of Davis is really known for like fairy tales or whatnot, but outside Noah's Bagels and Pete's Coffee here are the three dancing happy pigs. Yeah, they're actually pretty cool. They're made of uh, ceramic and cement here, and they seem to be pretty darn content and happy with just sitting here in this plaza here. Nobody's looking out for the big bad wolf, though, so I don't know. Art, guys, art, yeah. Come on, California, with these signs, speed enforced by aircraft. Come on, there's no aircraft enforcing speed. <laughs> well, okay. 
Heck yes, everybody. Welcome to windy Rio Vista, California. Nice view of the water out here, although they even have some flooding issues going on here. The reason I didn't eat in Davis, to be honest with you guys, they have a citywide ordinance that bans RVs from parking. And I know, this that's a California thing. Um, <laughs> I don't really even need to get into it, but, but think about this now. If the city bans RVs and travelers and tourists, why would anyone want to spend a dime in those crummy cities? So th that's my thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I got what I wanted out of it. I, I, I hightailed it right out of there. You ain't getting a cent from me. <laughs> but this place seems to not have the same signs as far as uh, no RVs allowed to park on side streets or, um, but yeah, they, they have some flooding. In fact, I walked myself right, I can't even leave. <laughs> Cause, the, wow, I don't think the water is supposed to be up this high. I gotta go back the way I came in. Anyway, a lot, lot of restaurants. So Jack's is safe in the RV having lunch and I'm gonna find a nice place to eat. Okay, so here on Main Street, my options are the Flamingo restaurant and bar or I'm gonna go up and look at a hamburger joint. Right here. Foster's Bighorn Restaurant. And it says no dogs, no dogs allowed. So I'll just go grab Jack's. All right, so here we are in the restaurant and I asked if it's okay if I film. Look at this place though. They've got 300 head of animals inside this restaurant. Guys, this might be worth a visit. Look at this moose. All the deer and everything. Oh my gosh, 300 head. Elephant, a giraffe, hippo. Oh my gosh, and a kitty kitty. I know some people don't like to see the animal heads and stuff like that, but it's cool. And there we go. Got my burger and my fries. Oh yeah. Holy cow, I'm stuffed. I'm gonna try to eat at more local restaurants along my travels and not support some of the big franchise chains as much. Uh, it's also great, you know, I was talking with the bartender in there and some of the other locals and just asking them about the area and um, nothing else like quirky around this town. So I'm gonna keep moving. Plus today, I, you know, I still gotta, still gotta drive, get places, but it's fun. Oh man, I'm just digging the sunshine. Was that not just three days ago? We were in like record breaking snowfall and ice and bitter cold and man, I love being able to change it up. Let's just make sure no tickets on the windshield, good to go. But you know, this stuff, <laughs> I've tried to paint over it a few times. There's one that stayed. It's just getting worse and worse. I can't, I don't know. I'm gonna start looking for a new white uh, 2000 Chevy Express hood. I'm just gonna replace it. I don't know what's going on there. Very strange. Let's go have some more fun. Uh, filling up gas here, just outside of Stockton, California. Under $4. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's because I had to do some research. This gas station has a alien saucer sticking out of it. That's pretty cool. It's called the Power Market and there's little green aliens on top of it and hanging from it. That is actually pretty sweet. Nice job. I am finding all sorts of stuff today that makes me smile. I'm really happy. Missing somebody, but um, working on it. I'm getting there, getting closer. Well, now I'm here in Modesto, California. I generally try to stay away from the big cities unless I want to like park the RV and then go scoot or ride around and look at a bunch of different stuff. But I did find parking. I got a tip on something really cool over here. Isn't it fun to just travel with me on YouTube because you get to skip all the long driving parts and it's just attractions nonstop. Yeah. So think Star Wars, but lots of other films. George Lucas has some roots right here in Modesto, California. And on this big block right here, this main block, I don't even see any road signs, but they have a special monument for George Lucas uh, featuring one of his more well-known films that's not Star Wars, and that's American Graffiti. 
you know, the 1950s cruising flick. If you haven't seen American Graffiti, it's a great film. And this is a really neat monument. I hate standing on a busy corner like that talking to myself. I'm talking to a camera. It's, I'm not crazy. Or I am crazy. I don't care. I'll never see any of these people again. But going to get back on the road south again, so I'll cut back in. All right, well, it occurred to me that I have not shown much driving sequence. Uh, this is my route right now. I've been back and forth on I-5, but this is 99 South. And uh, basically heading in the direction of Bakersfield, kind of. Not today. I have a spot picked out to camp, legally, where it's not against the law to sleep in my vehicle. So, uh, but I'll make a couple more stops. These roads are baffling to me. The highest gas tax in the country here in California, and quite possibly some of the worst roads in the country. Very strange. So, I'm in Turlock. Here's the highway I was just on. Uh, not, not moving out there. So, not sure what I'm gonna do, but the city of Turlock. Isn't that an awesome name? Reminds me of the Turok game for the Nintendo 64 console. I'd like to play that later tonight. But, uh, this ginormous bulldozer. It is not what it seems. This is actually their office. This is a building. This huge, huge bulldozer. And I can see a lot of advantages to putting your office in a bulldozer. Uh, zombie apocalypse, uh, you can be mobile in case the property rent goes up. Drive it down the road and park somewhere else. Let me think here. It's 4.15 and I'm guessing from here all the way to like Bakersfield it's probably just going to be crawling. So I'm going to do a little bit of research, see if See if Google and I can work on something to find a better route. Because I gotta get to BLM land. There's there's nowhere to legally park and sleep in my RV. Well guess what? My research paid off. I found something interesting. We're gonna stay off the main highway until later tonight when California traffic and commuters are done. Just give them the road. Actually, uh we're gonna go look at a, a cheese factory that's supposedly open for tours and stuff. And we're gonna take this little um, frontage road right here and probably be going much faster than the people on the highway here on the other side. So that's a good thing. I don't like to do research because then it makes me expect certain things to happen throughout the day. And I don't want that to be the case. I like to just play it by ear. But when stuff like this happens, you just gotta improvise. So about four miles and we'll get to a cheese factory. Really makes me miss Tillamook back home. I just realized this is Helmar, Hilmar Cheese. There's one of their catering trucks, hilmarcheese.com. And I don't know, they might be closed. They may have closed at five. The parking lot's kind of bare, but I'm gonna go check it out because even these back roads are just clogged. It's pretty here, a little water. Okay, a lot of water. Whoa, this is cool. You walk right through here. It's so pretty. Ah. Well, you don't have that at Tillamook Cheese Factory. <laughs> I really appreciate the effort, guys. Nicely done. Oh, okay, and here's their visitor center, which is also a cafe and a food, restaurant, and gift shop. It smells like cheese. So they got some exhibits in here. Starts with the milk receiving, and there's the pasteurizer over there, and the cheese vat. Ooh, the cheese belt over there. That looks yummy. And cold storage. Look at those blocks of cheese. Yep, Hilmar cheese. Did you guys know I am a milk guy? I drink about a gallon of milk every three days. It's a lot of milk for one person, usually with breakfast. Push the green button to see the milking process. That one right there. Okay. So, it's gathering milk from the udders there. Uh, down below, looks like we got chocolate milk on this. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, meter bowl, back flush, and pulsator. Uh, some of the different feeds for the cows. 
They've got some kit exhibits upstairs as well. Here's another view of the downstairs. It's really pretty for a cheese factory. Utterly fantastic. Mm -hmm. Go home, Eric. Your jokes suck. <laughs> All right, downstairs, they've got free samples. There's the Colby Jack. much left of the Beehive Big John's Cajun, so that'll be a little spicy, but they can try a piece right there. Spicy cheese. It does have a kick. It does have a kick. I kind of want to get some shredded cheese. I use that in my eggs and hash browns in the morning. I could have gone with a cheese, but I went with the local Jamocha Almond Fudge. Actually, my favorite ice cream flavor in the world. Don't see it all the time, but Jamocha Almond Fudge. Mmm. It's not even a hot day, but that is delicious. I'm gonna go back to the RV, sit with Jax, wait for traffic to clear, and then we'll go find a campground. What, um, can I help you? You don't like ice cream. Yes, um, okay. It's going to be dark by the time I get there, guys. So um, there's going to be nothing to even share with you. But I do have some BLM land where, let's see, south of Los Banos on I-5, there's BLM land camping right off the road. That's where I'm shooting for. So anyway, just want to close out this video because, like I said, it's going to be dark by the time I get there. And then I'm going to be editing the video till after midnight and then trying to upload it all day tomorrow. So uh just want to let you all know, like I said, I'm getting excited to uh, meet back up with Angela and travel uh, with her. Just met Gary here. Uh, he's a local from the area at the Cheese Factory in his RV. Um, but yeah, it is too early to move east. Um, we've kind of joint decided that the passes are just too bad. So I'm going to chill here for a couple weeks in California and keep a really close eye on the weather. and see when is going to be a good time to head on east into the Sierra Nevada mountains and all those other passes to come. Um, and I want to share more with you about the upcoming trip, but not yet. Just uh, bear with me. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to share the good times that I had to share with you, not so much the driving stuff. Like I said, I kept out all of the driving from Olympia, Washington to past San Francisco, California. There just wasn't anything. It's, it's either drive and don't film, or it's film and edit and not get anywhere on the road. So um, I'm going to share with you the stuff that's more interesting from day to day like this. Until then, um, and um, yeah, I guess. So anyway, have a good night, guys. Jackson, I'll see you in two or three days, okay? Okay, bye-bye.